Do you want your Veil VR content to look like this? A smooth viewing experience for your viewers that shifts seamlessly in and out of first person view with little impact to your game rendering? Well then you are in the right place. Hi, Half Pint here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can take advantage of Veil VR's native integration with Live, an overlay tool many of you are already using for first-person smoothing, a topic I will be covering in another video, and a streamer kit for live content creating. Before we go any further, I'm just going to ask that you go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel for more gaming content, VR, and 2D, as well as some reaction videos here and there. It helps me out a bunch, it's free, and especially if this video helps you, it lets me know I should keep doing these little tutorials. Alright, with the I'm a small content creator, please help me stuff out of the way, let's jump in. Firstly, you need to download and install Live from Steam. Last I checked, it was still free, and I'll link to its Steam page in the description below. Secondly, we are going to open Live. This is what you will see when you open it for the first time, minus the streamer kit. Um, let me just close that real quick. Alright, so once you have it open, go ahead and click on Avatars. Then, Launch PC VR Avatars. We have to set up a virtual third-person perspective for Veil VR and Live to leverage. Once it launches, you'll see this default camera, which will show a Live theme avatar synced with your headset and controllers and any trackers you may have. There is a calibration software for your avatars in order to sync them properly with your height and trackers. I can do a video on that process if anyone's interested. Just let me know in the comments. You can see I am showing all the different settings and options you have, but I mostly left these alone and things are fine, but you can fine tune things to your liking though, if they aren't. Here I can confirm my output resolution and set it to what I want. And I can uh, apply the live watermark, which is animated. It moves around the corners of the screen. Looks pretty nice. I'm quickly just going to run through the streamer kit. I can do a longer video on how to set it up in depth. Just let me know in the comments. But here you can have your chat pulled up in VR easily. Mounting it to your hand, the floor, a wall, or in your headset field of view off to the side like I do. And it tracks my head as I turn. In addition to chat, you can sync your alerts and control what all you get notifications for in VR. You can also fine tune the location of your chat regardless of where or have you have it mounted in VR. That's all about the stream kit for now. Let's jump into Veil and finish setting up our mixed capture. Launch Veil in VR mode and pop on your headset. You can see I have many other overlay apps for my content creation and I have them set up in Steam VR to launch when it does. Live is included in that list. Now that we are in headset and Live is still open, when we look down we see Live. If we aim the controller while looking, the circle loads the menu. Here's where we can see our avatar camera configurations as well as calibrate any avatars you are using. My live is already set up, but these three settings right here are what's important. Under visibility, you need to have all options unchecked to make sure that the only avatar on screen is your Veil in-game avatar. In order to have live work with Veil, we want to go to camera one. Click plugin and then third person, camera. If you don't see this yet, you will after the next step, so don't worry. In Veil, pull up your settings. Click on Visual and scroll to the bottom where it says Spectator Live Camera Mode. Here we can set this to Mixed, which looks like this. third person, which looks like this.
and first person, which looks like this. First person may not look like much of a change, but it uses Liv's POV smoother, which gives a wider field of view and stabilizes, and it zooms in a little extra when aiming downside to help viewers see who or what is being aimed at. Personally, I think the mix capture looks the best. I mean, come on, tell me this doesn't look insanely cool and isn't really fun to watch. Alright, well, that's all for me today, guys. Follow me on Twitch to catch me live and join us in the chat, and please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you found it helpful at all. And let me know if you want to see those other tutorials in the comments below. Later, Warehouse. Catch you on the flippity-flip.